Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a mustache filter like this in the Spark AR Studio for Instagram. So I will also provide you some assets for the mustache so you don't have to create one on your own. So let's go! Hey again, so let's create a mustache filter here in the Spark AR Studio. This filter is very simple. You can use any mustache as a PNG you have for this, for this project, but I will also provide you one for download. So just and go to the description if you don't have a mustache to use and yeah follow the link and then just download this png here on my dropbox so after the download is done we have to import our png to use it here in the spark ar studio for this we go to our assets panel click on the little plus next to it go to import and here click from computer here we just navigate to our mustache png select it and then we click on open so the next step is that we have to create a material for our new texture but before we do this we click on our texture go to the right hand side and here set the compression to none for all free device categories so the next step is of course to create a material for this we go to our assets panel click on the little plus and here we select material so i will call this material mustache and then we select the material, go to the right hand side and here set the shader type to flat. The next step is that we go down to the shader properties to diffuse and here we set as the texture our mustache filters, uh, mustache textures. So now this is done, we can start creating our scene objects. For this we go to our left hand side to our scene panel and here we also click on the little plus. Here we search for a plane object and then we hit on insert. So now we can see this plane object here in the scene, but yeah, at the moment it is just static in the middle of the screen. The next step is that we want this plane to move around with our face. So for this we go again to our scene, click again on the plus and here we search for face tracker. When we have found it, also click on insert. Now just drag and drop the plane zero object into the face tracker in at the scene panel so yeah just click on it and yeah drag and drop it into the face tracker now it is in the face tracker and as you can see now our plane is moving with our face so now we click on the plane object then we go to the right hand side and next to materials we can find also a little plus just click on it and here select the mustache material so now we already have our mustache yeah, in front of our face but yeah, we don't want it on the nose we want it um, yeah, like here above our mouth where the mustache is so now for this we go here to our yeah to our camera to our viewport and here we can place our mustache to the right position but at the moment we don't know re really where the face is yeah located here in our viewport so to make it more easy i will add an additional step so it looks better and the mustache is placed on the right position so for this we just um yeah creating a new um, object in our scene but we will delete it delete it later it's just for yeah to better composite here our mustache on our face so for this we go to our scene click on the little plus again and here we search for the face mesh object then we just click insert and it should automatically be placed here yeah at our face and you can already see there is something strange going on so we go down to the materials click on the mustache material then go to the right hand side and then open the advanced render options here we just disable use dev test and also write to dev we also have to change something here so we go to our plane and set it in front of the face mesh so just drag it down below the face mesh and now it is in front of the face mesh so now you can just drag around it until you're happy with the outcome so now you can see it better when you yeah, move around in your viewport and yeah now you see where the face is and where you have to yeah, locate it I think here is a good place underneath the nose but at the moment is a little bit right um, because yeah for this just go to transformations and here set the X transformation to zero and now it should be centered 
at your face so a little bit down i will do this here with the with the values at the tra transformation so a little bit down 0 0.024 let's say this looks good so now we go to our scene click on the face mesh and now we disable the visibility at the right hand side so this is gone and now it looks pretty nice to me the mustache is yeah, moving with the face and it looks that it is at the right position so yeah of course you can fine-tune it and you can of course change the um, yeah position and the scale of the mustache when it is too big just set the scale of the plane to 0.8 for the x and also for the y axis so now it looks a little bit better i think yeah just play around until you find the perfect fit for your mustache here in your filter and of course you can use any other png you want for this filter so i hope this tutorial was helpful for you if yes give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice when you subscribe to it so see you in the next video <laughs> bye